What's up guys, what's up guys? So welcome to yet another episode of Tech Ed Africa. And leo tuko na some devices from Samsung. Uh, we have the Galaxy Tab S8, then we have the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and the Galaxy A55. So kuna tablet, flip, and then we have our mid-range device over here. That's a, today's focus is just on the A55. In case you want to know something about the other devices, the flip, and then the tab, then be to the comment section and we'll be able to get back to you. Today we have the A55 in the studio with us. Now he device is part of the Galaxy A series smartphones that Samsung launch every year. Last year, to look on A34, which I reviewed, and then this year we got the A15, which editor did the review. Now, the A55 in a range of pale upper mid-range devices in a seat quasile classes like in Oppo Reno 12, and yeah. So, let me take you through this phone, and we see what it entails. First of all, we have a three camera setup on the rear. This is these are the 50 megapixel main camera. And then we have the punch hole cutout design. The display itself is a 6.6 inch AMOLED display, which is full HD and uh, uh, refreshes at 120 Hz. Our storage, the particular device I have here is the 8 GB RAM model, and then the uh, 128 GB storage version. We have a 5000 milliampere in here which supports up to 25 watt of fast charging. Ko box kumbuka tu Samsung hawata kupea charger, hawata kupea tu cable ya type C to type C. So kenda ku buy, remember to buy your own charger that supports this device. Now, this phone I've been able to use it kidogo to not that much. So this is just a first impression of the device. First of all, I like how the phone looks from the outside uh area it's, it has a premium feel to it ukiangalia awezi notice hii ni a mid-range device first of all how they've designed the side rails it has a premium premium touch to it no kishika una feel that boxy design that you feel when touching the galaxy s24 series particularly the s24 base model and the s24 plus now uh, we've seen some Remember to shoot he device time in Samsung ako almost could launch the S24 FE. And we've seen some of the images that that device comes with. And it's particularly or rather similar to what you get with the A55. You get the three cameras, the side rays are very similar, and the display looks a bit similar. So Samsung majority was much to make sure uki by he device, you get that premium feel to it. The display itself is smooth. Okay, and I could scroll through social media pages. You're using the 120 hertz, so you'll experience that smoothness. And the fact that it's AMOLED, it gives you those brilliant colors that you need. That's it for the display and the outer sides of this phone. When you're getting this device, you need a phone that, or rather when you're spending that kind of cash, you need a phone that performs very well. And here, with this phone, you can't fail when doing your daily tasks. So for the battery, the 5000 milliampere acts very well. Na ineza kupea for normal usage, a full day of use, and you remain with some juice to uh, do other tasks even after 24 hours. Kwa cameras, which is the major place that many people look at when buying such devices, the 50 megapixel takes amazing photos. By default, the phone will shoot 12 megapixel photos, but you have an option to toggle on the, the 50 megapixel option via the settings of this uh, phone. The videos are capped at uh, 4K at 30 frames per second, and you get also an option for 1080 at 60 frames per, per second. The videos, when you make to me, they are very smooth. Um, you, you tend to get some very, very amazing output uh, videos that are usable when maybe you want to showcase a vlog, you want to show people where you are. Yeah, so all I want to get is for camera purposes, 
this is a phone that can't fail you. This phone has some flaws though. First of all, the heating on these phones. Do Samsung or Lifanyanini, uh, some of the A series phones. And the heating on this phone, Ukitumia for some task, you get you tend to feel the heat on the back of the phone. And sometimes it's very discouraging when you feel such things on the device because it can make very uncomfortable. Um, something else, the fingerprint sensor, it is under display. And when you add that party uh, protectors on this device, sometimes the fingerprint tends to become slower or rather either recognize your fingerprint uh, as it should with the speed it should. So when buying a screen protector, kindly look out for the best option you can get out there. For this phone, uh, the market price ranges between Kenya shillings 40,000 to 50,000, depending on the storage variant you want for the phone. So yeah, it's a phone that is worth it, apart from your side uh, heating. And yeah, definitely it's a phone that someone can get, but we'll have to test it deeper and then we can share with you what we think on the full review of this device. That's it from me. You can leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, we'll share links to where you can get this device and see you in the next one. Peace out. Take care.